Well, it's been a while since we've done this, but I'm bringing it back for now. Welcome to my early Team of the Week 18 prediction. Like always, if you want to see my full Team of the Week 18 prediction, come back tomorrow night and you'll see a video featuring every single league that is in FIFA. But in this one, we just, you know, focus on, you know, the main league players just to see what the upcoming Team of the Week could look like. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So we'll start with a couple of games on Tuesday. In the Premier League, Southampton beat Brentford 4-1. And honestly, James Ward-Prowse right now is just on fire lately for Southampton. Whether he's assisting or scoring goals, he literally is the definition of an informed player. So you have some potential there, but I don't think it's too likely as things stand. Cagliari also played on Tuesday and won 2-1. And the star man was Piero, who got himself a goal and assist. So there is obviously a chance of him picking up a special card. West Ham beat Norwich 2 2-0 on Wednesday and Jared Bowen was the star man with two goals um, but he was in team of the week 16 so because of that they might look for other options and we've got Kufal with an assist and a clean sheet so maybe he could get in if they need you know a right back option or just a Premier League defender option but uh, yeah sadly Jared Bowen shouldn't be out well isn't eligible because of obviously being in team of the week 16 even though we all know he probably deserves it he literally is the definition of an informed player right now just like James Ward Prowse. Moving on to Friday now, Brighton and Palace finished in a 1-1 scoreline and a bit of an interesting game this one, it really, really was. If you know, you know. Brighton absolutely dominated, but then Crystal Palace took a semi-early lead and then it took Brighton a bit of time, but eventually they got the goal and it was some really good play from a Mopé, to be fair. Um, anyway, Butland, your standout from this game, four saves, including a penalty stop, so uh, maybe could get in. I don't normally like predicting in forms for draws, but to be fair, we have seen some really, really really lenient in forms as of late so he has a chance it's definitely one worth mentioning and he was only beaten in this game by an own goal which you know not many people would have stopped so there is that moving on Dortmund 5-1 against Freiburg and you have a lot of options from this game Munier, right back, two goals. No clean sheet though, which is a bit of a shame. The Who had a goal and assist. Brandt got two assists and Haaland scored twice. As things stand, I am currently favouring Munier just because he got the first two goals, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the midfielder in instead. Also on Friday, Nice beat Nante, but there just really isn't a standout in this game, so we will move on swiftly. We finally arrive on Saturday's games and we're going to start with a big one and an interesting one as well. Bayern beat Cologne 4-0 and you'd think Luan with a hat-trick guaranteed in form and I would agree most weeks. However, we are all fully aware Team of the Year is dropping next week and Luan has a very, very good chance of getting in Team of the Year. So because of that, I think there's a good chance he won't be in the upcoming team of the week because obviously a better version will be coming. Now, there is no guarantee on that or anything like that, but I'm just going to assume that he won't be in team of the week just because of obviously the very likely team of the year inclusion. So, optionals, options sorry, from this game do include Muller to assist, Sane to assist, and Talisa with a goal. So... Yeah, we've got to think about that. Team of the Year is definitely going to influence, influence, influence sorry, the upcoming team of the week. So, yeah, Luan, big question mark, despite a definitely inform worthy performance. Mainz won 1-0 against Bochum, thanks to their goalkeeper as well. He saved a penalty and kept clean sheet, four saves in this match, so he could certainly get an inform this week. However, there is St. Juice who got the only goal in this game and a clean sheet, and that would be a pretty incredible inform. It really, really would. Um, yeah, that, that could actually be a nightmare to come up against. I wonder what that kind of card would cost on the market because in form this year, not really worth too much. He wouldn't be too high rated, but uh, I get the feeling a lot of people would like to try a card like that out because of that pace. Leipzig with a 2-0 win against Stuttgart, and it was very surprising to see Nkunku ignored last week. They just decided no headliners, which is, you know, pretty mental, but he's an option from this game. But uh, Gulax is probably my standout with eight saves and a clean sheet, so uh, we're going to go for him from this match. But there are also defensive options from this game, which could happen too. Union Berlin with a 2-1 win against Hoffenheim. I don't see an inform coming from this game as things stand. The same can be said for the Wolfsburg and Hertha Berlin game. But this next one is a real weird one. Leverkusen won a 2-1 against Gladbach and Jan Sommer is your star man. Two penalty saves and 12 saves in general. Like, if they'd have drawn the game, I'd have put him in my predictions. But because they lost the game... 
I don't know if he'll get in. I really, really don't. Like, a draw or a win, you put him in every single time. But with them losing, unsure. But that is an incredible, incredible effort from the defender. From Leverkusen, you're probably looking at Florian Vets for your informed choice. In the Serie A, Sampdoria lost to Torino 2-1. And once again, the losing side goalkeeper was the standout. 10 saves from him, but I just cannot see him getting in without, obviously, the loss and conceding twice. Lazio won 3-0, Immobile 2 goals. Now, once again, he is a candidate for Team of the Year. But is he going to get in Team of the Year? Probably not. So maybe he will get in the upcoming Team of the Week, thanks to his two goals in this win. And then we have you is um, also 2-0 win against Udinese and I'm just going to say it and it's mainly because I want it informed about it please I like his card this year I want him to see I want to see him get you know some boosted items so uh, yeah I'm just being hopeful really in Ligue 1, Saint-Etienne beat Lens 2-1 and uh, yeah, Klaus got himself an assist and Fafana got himself a goal. So there is a bit of, you know, headliners action right there. Will either of them get in? I'm not too sure to be honest. I don't feel like one of them stood out too much to get in, but if they get a good match rating from the keep, then they could. But we're going to have to wait for that match rating to see if either has a shot. We didn't have PSG's win against uh, Stad Brest and Bappe with a goal and a good match rating. Him, but obviously, like I've said for numerous players, Team of the Year coming up, I don't think they'll put him into Team of the Week. So uh, next best option, probably Kero with a goal, possibly Mendes with the assist. Okay, so we're going to end with the Premier League action from Saturday. And we're going to start with the Man City game, 1-0 against Chelsea. Only goal coming from KDB. And like with Luan, any other week, and I would put him in my predictions, but because Team of the Year is coming up and KDB is another player who is looking likely to be in, I don't think he'll get an inform this week. So obviously there are other options from this game, but right now... No one's standing out too crazy other than KDB, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. Newcastle and Watford, 1-1 one, one draw, very, very late goal for Watford, but uh, yeah, this is a bad result for Newcastle. They really, really needed to win this one. wasn't to be, but anyway, we will move on. Norwich got themselves a win against Everton, big, big win for Norwich, and because of that, I do think there's a bit of a chance of an inform here. Um, maybe the striker, it was a key win for him as I say, so uh, possibly but that is a really bad loss for Everton and uh, at the time of recording Rafa Benitez is the Everton manager I think time might be coming to an end for him pretty soon, although they have just made a bunch of signings with him as coach, so maybe they'll hold on to him a bit longer, but um, yeah, they need to start picking up some points Wolves 3, Southampton 1, a couple of options from this one. You've got the winger with the assist, you've got Triora with a late goal, you've got Jose Sa with 9 saves, and... Honestly, Jose Sa has been like one of the underrated Premier League goalkeepers this year. He's been absolutely fantastic for them. So, um, yeah, I'd say he's got a good shot this week. Finally, Villa 2, Man United 2, Jacob Ramsey. Like, this kid has to get a future stars card this year. He has to. And this week deserves an inform as well. He's like, I know it ended a draw, but he's been absolutely brilliant for Villa this year. And, uh, yeah, what, what a comeback from Villa this was as well, by the way. Um, yeah. Fair play. So that's that. That is my early look at the upcoming Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to come back tomorrow as well to see my full Team of the Week prediction, which, like I said, at the start will feature every single team that is in FIFA. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.